Oh, right, this is part two. You were at, we're at the fire station. Look, there's the bridge. No lorry this time. Look at the day. You get to the, get through the tunnel there. You want to turn right, and I'll meet you at the cages. We'll see what I mean. That's us at the cages, you see what I mean? Uh, there you go, the wee walk right down there. What you do is you just want to cut into the woods there. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, there's the there's the cages there we've just come down. So you turn left, you want to cross the road here. Very wait. Right, good boy. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll let him off the lead in a minute. We just carry on here the now. Booties! <laughs> getting excited. And we're going down here. That's it. So you just want to follow this road in for a boot. I don't know, maybe a hundred yards or something. And then we'll be we'll be hanging right at the it's like a concrete road. Yeah, he's like eager to get off the lead, aren't you, son? <laughs> Hold on a second, mate. <laughs> Come on, then. Hey, there he goes. Hey, happy old boy. Okay, that's the uh, bit of path we've just come up there the now. Uh, you'll see these bricks. There's a wee cottage there, eh? When you come past the cottage, you'll see the road goes straight on, but you want to go... This way, right. Booty, come. It's a nice wee bit, this. They're ruining it though by building loads of hooses, eh? And they're no, they're no putting in a decent infrastructure for them. Very rare you see a car on this road, to be honest. So we just want to keep on here till I turn it back on. The dog's black already, look at that. Look at the state of you! <laughs> no bother, I jot. Okay, right, that's the, that's the road where we've come. And there's the be entrance there next to old Nettie's cottage there. <coughs> now, normally I would just walk to the, the left here, but this road's getting busy now because of all this. And I've got the dog with me, so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do, is I'm actually going to go straight across. It takes me away by a, maybe a hundred yards. Eh? If you do decide to take the road up that way, we should turn left at the at the gate bit here. When you get to the end of the road, just turn right, walk about I don't know 100, 200 yards, and you'll meet you'll meet me exactly the same places where I'll be ending up at the end. Of, next time I turn the video back on. Okay, I'm going to cut off now so I can get ahead of the dog before we cross this road. Just at the end of that road, it brings you on the long day one. I don't know what we call it now, the A. That. But that's a dual carriageway up there. See, I don't have it. Quite a wide lens on this, I don't know. Anyway, you can probably hear everything. So when you get to the end of the road here, you want to turn left. I'm going to cross the road though, because I've got the dug. You do meet a lot of few cars on this road, folk going in and out of West Barnes, eh? We just come up here. Now, I don't know if you can see the wall over there at the end of that field. That's the, the road that would normally walk up, but because I've got the dog and it's busy now, I've got to come the other way. So you, when you get to the end of that, you would turn right there. Very hard on, son. Doug's eager to go away, but I can't let him off the lead here. Hey, hey. Hey, right. Booty, wait, how done, son? A wee horse in the field there, eh? I don't know if you can see. A wee barn. Where that fence is, is 
a wee path, a wee road there. Takes us underneath the dual carriageway. I would say watch out on this though because it's uh, you do get cars coming down here again, rather than go all the way down to the roundabout at uh, Thistley Cross to come all the way back. I mean, I've, I've used it myself, eh? It's usually okay though. I've got to leave the dug on the lead here. Never worry about that private farm access. This is Scotland. Walk through it, eh, bother. <laughs> Plus, there's a wee sign there, pedestrians and bikes. So, there it is. When you get to the end of this, just follow the road. Boot it! You're tangling me. Come on, come on, boot it! Idiot! <laughs> See, there's a car there. <laughs> so, you follow in this road up, you want to go this. You want to go that way to the left at the end of it. In fact, this car's probably going that way. Yep. Just follow that car till you come to a gate and I'll meet you at the gate. Oh. Okay, that's us at the end of that wee bit. That's what you'll be great to do when you come out. What you want to do is you want to turn right and then left straight away up there. You want to go up this road up here. So you want to turn left and you just want to follow that road. You'll cut when it comes to the end, it'll be a steep, steep turn to the left. Just turn round there and about 20, 30 yards up there's a junction to the right. Now that road's shut off at the bottom, so it's just basically a walkway. You might come across a tractor, but we'll actually be able to let the dog off the lead up there. Meet you up there. That's the road we've just come up there, you see at the bottom there, all the way up there. Steep turn to the left. And this is the road we're going to be going down. We can let the dog off the lead here, there shouldn't be any traffic on this road whatsoever because it's shut off at the bottom of the road. I was having a wee conversation with a mate the other day and we were talking about the difference between walking terrain and walking on the road and I tell you what, I'm dying here now Which is good because I'm the kind of practice I'm wanting. Okay, I'll meet you at the bottom of this road. There's a dog having some fun, look here. Go off the lead, yay! <laughs> so, here we are. that's the road we've just come down. Here's the end of the road here. I'm, uh, I'm going to put the dog on the lead before we come on here. Here, very right here, son. This is a uh, Give this a sec. There we go, see? There we go. Right, so this basically here is the Heron Road. Up there's the spot. Now, for me, this is the worst this is the worst bit of the road coming up. Uh, there's, it's quite twisty bendy and there's high walls on both sides. There's really nowhere to go if anybody comes down there a bit too fast and that, so I'm gonna have a dog me, so I'll not be taking the phone out for this bit. Uh, but basically at the end of that wee bit there, that's you come to the village of Spot. I'll meet you in Spot. So here we are at Spot, Spot Church there, look at that tree, isn't that great eh? Some nice photos up here in the dark eh? There we go, the village of Spot on the Heron Road. Job done. I'm just going to keep cracking on uh, up to about Hales and then that's where I'm going to cut off the Heron Road and go go on my wee merry walk I'll keep, you, I'll keep you up to speed 
that's this leaving spot. Just carry on this road till the very end. You get a T junction, a wee bit further up. I'm going to put the video on again before we get to the end because there's a couple of nice wee spots there. I'll let you see it. But, see in a bit. Yep. Hey, hey, the witch's stone. That's pretty cool, eh? I've not got any change on me, I'd have put a couple of pence in the cup. I don't want to cross the road with the dog. I'll let you see it a bit closer. It's quite nice, eh? Hey, on we go. Come on, Barry. Loads of this. Loads of this. Just road, 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 road. All the way up to hills. I say in a bit, just keep going straight on this, by the way. There's a wee turn off here that takes you to a little spot. Just, just ignore that. There you go, look at that. Is that not the stuff of horror movies, eh? <laughs> I love trees like this, eh? I love anything that looks kind of creepy like this, eh? Gothic eh? horror. Reminds me of the old black and white movies. The Wolfman, Creature from the Black Lagoon kind of thing. Fantastic, eh? Take a second there and enjoy that. There you go. Lovely. Uh, we just stopped for a wee drink, a wee rest. My back's actually really hurt in there. I, I don't know. I've, I don't. I don't think I've got the the backpack adjusted right. It's, uh, it's good though because it's, it's making me think about problems and stuff like that. I think that this is about as far as I'm going. I think I'm just turning off up here. I'm not sure. Either. You follow this road round to the end. And there's a wee junction and you just turn turn left and, and stay on that and that, that keeps you on the heron road. <clears throat> That's nice in there, isn't it? I'm gonna get my map out and, and figure out where where it is that I turn off because I'm no I'm no going on the walking the heron road. I'm actually going, wanting to cut across to Wood Hall. I'm trying to find the wee path that takes me around the sneed. Back, back in a bit.